Welcome back to Vigor. It's your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. Let me draw your attention to this comment that was made on one of my videos. Sabrina asks me to try to win, try to survive by only using a gal. And to that comment, I say, this is my response. I'm going to see if I can make it out alive on Sagebrook with an Uzi. Gal, Uzi, same thing. A date with my gal. And so what do we spawn at? We spawn, I mean, it's not particularly a good spot, but it's not a bad spot either. Could be worse. Remember, there are teams here. Now, what do I know about the gal? Um, has the same ammunition as an MP5, and, and this is the kicker, the gal counts as a sidearm. So if I kill anybody, and they have maybe an M249 or an AUR A1, I can take them both. And so, honestly, this may be a good weapon to use if you're trying to get weapons. You know what I'm saying? Because... You can do nothing but trade up, right? Well, not even trade up, but just upgrade. Because you're you're coming from nothing to something, right? But like I said, use the same ammunition as the AOR Para and the MP5K. So I'm expecting low damage. As I get hunted. I say get hunted because in a moment, if not it already happened, somebody's going to use a PSD. And so I'm fully expecting somebody to walk up. But turns out that detector going off saves my bacon. Because I feel like that person was about to come up here and try to kill me. But the detector is actually in the sawmill. And it's right there to my left. You won't see it right now, but you'll see it in a moment. And so right now, I heard a dude, and then I stopped hearing dude. And I'm like, where did he go? Well, don't go wait for long. He's running. He's right there. He's right there. That's the guy who pinged me with the PSD. And so he's trying to hunt down a person who used a detector. Hmm. Interesting. But I can't go after him. Because there's somebody on that rock right in front of me. You probably don't see it. But I see it. There's a person prone on that rock past those trees before you get to the fence. That's a team. That's an entire team. Now, why is nobody dead yet? I have no idea. But I'm going to try something. I'm going to try it. I have not used a gal at all. Besides eliminations, that's it. Right? That is it. The first time I've seen this thing's iron sights was literally in this video. And that's it. But we hear a bugle going off to my right. Bugle F1, FAMAS, same weapon. And so right here, I flash my cons consumable wheel because I'm just like, bruh, if I had a grenade, this would be nice. But I don't. More elimination grinds to come, I guess. So, I relocate and I think, are you still there? And you are still there. If you look at that rock right in front of me, you can see some movement. And in a moment, he's going to get up. And he's going to move. Now, why are they there? You see, there he goes. I have no idea why they're there. But yeah, he's moving. And they're moving deeper into the salt boat. And some more gunshots ring out. And I see him using a tether. I try to hit him in the head. Doesn't work out does not work out. I think this weapon has failed in terms of it being stealthy. Because I don't have the capacity to get off long range shots at somebody in the head. Then again, it could be, you know, the weather. But hey, we are all on an uneven playing field. Right? So I'll keep moving. I'm still prone because one person got shot at, but his buddy doesn't know. They heard the gunshots. But 
It's it's different when you're getting shot at and you don't know where they're coming from, the bullets are coming from. But when you shot at and you see the person, it's a different kind of safety. You're still in danger, but it's a different kind of safety. So I keep moving. Keep moving. Stalking them. Last scene, headed this way. Deeper into the sawmill. And so I'm going to go to my west in just a moment. But look, I'm going to dip my toes in the water and find out the water's too hot. You probably didn't see it, but that's a person prone right up there on that ridge. And there's his buddy. I don't know how they didn't see me, but I was about to get killed right there. I was about to get killed right there on that spot. If I didn't jump over that fence like that, I would have gotten killed. But check this out. As I round this corner, you can see they're prone in that house. You see one of his head, one of their heads. They're prone in that house. Now let's see if this gal is gonna ambush. Me. Now I don't want to peek around the corner and take a shot at one person. I want to get them both while they're prone, laying down, not expecting to get shot, not expecting to get shot. And so I'll make my way around, and I believe right here I'll pull out the gal because they're in the open. They're prone. Someone is going to see them. And there you go. Now, once they run, where are they going to run to? Down the stairs. That works out. What do you have on him? Assume me. And literally nothing else. This guy didn't even bother to loot. And you see, it's a matter of bad vision. Remember when I keep, how I keep saying we're all on an uneven playing field? They still think he, they're up there because they can't see that far. That's why. But, Sabrina, if you're watching this video this far in, watch this. I hope you enjoyed that. Because the, the ambush failed. It did. I mean, it halfway failed. Because it got interrupted. But nonetheless, two people are dead because of some para bullets fired by a gal. And look at that. I technically have three weapons on me. Technically. Now, my objective is to survive. And you see, I... Spot, I spot somebody on that ridge, right? <clears throat> and the first thing that I do is I go prone to flatten myself against the ground. Now, if they have really good eyesight, they could see me against the ground. But considering how I jumped that fence and then jumped back over it and I didn't get shot at, I'm willing to bet they can't see that well. I'm using that to my advantage. Now... I'm really afraid of that ridge line. Y'all know people love to be on that ridge line, including myself, watching the sawmill. And so I'm gonna, you know, take cover in here. I'm gonna look, and I don't spot anything. And I think I need to get upwards. Maybe I can spot them that way. So instead of going in front of that facade of the sawmill, I decide to go down here. Right? I changed my mind about going up change my mind. Instead, I want to go down here. Again, my objective is to survive. That's my only objective right now. Santa Claus, why you gotta be so loud? Why? Alright, you done yet? You done yet? Okay, bet. Alright. So, as I'm moving forward through here, I'm listening for Somebody going prone, somebody crouch walking, anything. And I'm real hesitant to walk past that ridge line. Don't hear anything. Audio training. Boom. Target acquired. But here's the thing. As I'm running back here, I'm just hoping that maybe, maybe... 
it's a team. Because if it's a team, then I can really test out this thing's accuracy. But as I'm running and I get past this tree, I realize I see him, but he's mad far. Like, mad far. And he's so deep in the ether that even if I do go into iron or aim down sight, I still can't see him. He's down there. I see him with my eyes, but whenever I aim down sight, he's going to disappear. I know, it's weird. But I'm going to wait until he exits, then check the PSD, and find out somebody's near the container. Okay. So, at least for now, nobody is on the ridge line. Right? At least for now. Now, my objective is to escape. It is. But what if I can get a little bit more out of this encounter? What if? And so, what I'm thinking right now is maybe that person is looting the remains of the container. Maybe the remains of somebody's body. I do have a little bit of a window. A little bit of a window to try to get to this detective. And the airdrop is between the freaking container and the barred house. Talk about dangers. Now. Hey, yo, that was a Halloween sound. That's crazy. Anyways, we're going to keep moving. We're going to keep moving. Approach this detector with extreme caution. I'm going to hide behind this cover, cover right here. I know I'm exposed to my north. I know I am. You see, I look that way too. Don't hear anything. Don't hear anything. Don't see anything. Approach with caution. Here we go. And we're going to find out who else is here. In three, two, one. Only him. Nobody else. Okay, now. Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. And you see right there, I check. Do I have enough fuel? No, I don't. And thanks to another person who commented on um, one of my videos, according to them, according to them, there's always five fuel back here, unless it's looted. And radiation is here. But the fuel isn't. That sucks. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta take that exit right there to my right. Or to the airdrops, right? So, we heard people die, right? But it was teams. One person had an LMG, and I believe another person had a really dangerous weapon. A dangerous high tier weapon, right? Here's the thing about those kind of people. If they do loot, it's, it's very little. It's very little. Because their bag is nothing but bullets. And so, it makes sense when I find this man dead right here, get his A1, trade up, loot the container, wait a minute, hey yo devs, is it fixed yet? Did y'all fix this? Or, or am I just lucky? Look at that. I mean, I'll take the ammunition, it's fine, it's whatever. But trade up though. Right? Trade up. Now radiation has pretty much covered half the map, and now it just touched me. Well, now that I know I'm pretty much alone, unless that guy comes back, which can happen, which can definitely happen, I decided to check through here. Hey yo, this barred house was not touched. The safe is still closed. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. This is why our dumb pills exist. Here we go. This is going to get good. It's going to get good. Time is of the essence. Now, check this out. Iodine pill, extra. I might need that. I'm going to need that, actually. Okay. Don't need anything else. Grab ammunition. Cool. It's fine. I have no other option because I don't have enough fuel. So while the safe is opening, pop another set of iodine pills. At this point, I may be becoming addicted to them. Keep going, grab the airdrop while the safe is being unlocked. In hindsight, this is a dumb move. Instead, what I should have done was waited for the safe to unlock, 
Then, and yeah, look at that. Somebody died right here next to the airdrop. Crazy. In hindsight, what I should have done is wait for the safe to open. Right. Got the safe. Ran up here. Get the airdrop. And then head over to the exit. I don't know why I thought my brain was big at this point. But no, my brain is actually quite small. Because I didn't want to sit there and wait for a safe to open. That's, that's probably why I did that. I mean, it makes sense in the back of my head. But here we go. Safe is open. And th there is there's no point in me opening the safe. I could have not even done this. I mean, sure, M MG3, right? But, yeah. There's nothing here. I mean, I'll take the ammunition, I guess. I'm needed for the SG-1. But, yeah. I mean, that's it. Now, turns out I do have enough fuel on me. So now, it's a straight Usain Bolt to this exit. And radiation is deep. And I got no iodine pills. This is literally a 100 meter dash. Watch my health. It's already halfway gone. When you see I'm walking past stuff, I could easily hold X over it and loot it. But literally every second that you're in radiation, the second you are closer to death, my health is steadily going down. Risking it for the biscuit. Risk it for the biscuit. Walk past the ex exit sign. Here we go. Do I have enough time? Walk over to this boat and say, yo, what's up? Here's your fuel. Get me out of here. And literally, with maybe about three seconds left, I'm a dead man. But thanks to that patch, where the dev said, you know what? If you're in the exit and you're waiting to leave, you can go ahead and go. Yeah, my health was on zero. And I left. Now, back in, I, I, I stress that because back in the day, I can't tell you the amount of times when I had like five, four, three seconds left to exit. And all of a sudden, my character goes limp. That's only because radiation didn't care if you were in the exit. You died. And so thanks to that one change, I came out of there with an A1 combination lockbox and time to save. If not, I would have just left. But you're not worried about that. What you're worried about is the gal. Well, Sabrina, let me tell you, if you're still watching this video this, this far deep, there's another session of a gal being played. There's going to be another date with a gal. Oh, with my gal, excuse me. But it's going to be on stream. And so it's going to be a bit further down in a month. But just know I did play this weapon twice. Until next time, another date with my gal. Peace.